Okay, for this screencast, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, if, else, end. I had an issue with my audio, so <clears throat> I'm going to attempt to overdub this video. Um, hopefully it'll look good, hopefully it'll be okay. So I guess the benefit is you won't hear my keyboard strokes, which I'm sure a lot of you complain about. Um, right, so we're going to talk about if, else, end, which is very important for coding if you do any sort of programming whatsoever. Um, you have to learn if else end. So we've already learned how to edit um, new scripts. So I'm just going to use the area C example, and then we already know how to make function headers. So I'm going to make function a equals area C R. So the input, um, or rather the uh, output, is the area of the circle, um, and the input is the uh, radius of the circle. And then a the area is obviously pi times r squared, right? So if I go to the home menu or the command window and I type in area C of 5, I get 78. If I do area C of, say, 2, I get 12. If I do of, say, 10, I get 314 because 10 squared times pi is 314. Okay, so now we're going to do an if statement. What if I want to know if the area of the circle is bigger than 10? Well, then I would type in if at some point. I, okay, if a is greater than 10, then display the area of the circle. So there's a lot of things, while this is going on, there's a lot of things going on in here, right? If is the MATLAB text, and a greater than 10 is the logicals that we talked about before. Display is a function that's just going to literally display that text. So when, when the code is run, it's going to check and see if the area of the circle is greater than that. Now, if you look, 12 is greater than 10, so it outputted that. And then I didn't like it, so I went back and I checked, said, let's do bigger than 100. So then I changed the script to A greater than 100. So now if I do 2, nothing happens. I'm going to do with clear CLC. So I do area C, and I'm going to move my windows. I think I mess up here a couple times. Bear with me. Boom, got it. Okay, so then if I go to the command window and I type in area C of 3, 28, nothing happens, 4, 50, nothing happens, 5, 6, boom, the area of the circle is greater than 10, because the area of the circle is 113. Now, I could write another if statement and say if A is less than, come on, less, yeah, less than or equal to 100, the area of the circle, then I'll display the area of the circle is less than 100, end. All right, and then if I go back and I type in area C2, I get the area circle is less than 100. If I do area C4, less than 100, 6, greater than, and then it says 10. I think I go in and I edit line 8 so that, come on, you can figure it out. Oh, okay, well, I guess I didn't notice it until then. So the one thing that I want to talk about here, I'm going to let me pause it because I went a little too fast. So what I did was is here, there was a two if statements, and then instead I put an else here. So now it's going to say if this, run this line of code, else, run this line of code. So I'm going to hit play again so we have it. Um, right, and then I guess I put it in the comments. So if A is greater than 100, run this line of code, run line 9. If A, if not, run line 12. Okay, so now we have area C5 uh, is... Our area circle is less than 100, area, C is, area circle is greater than 10. And hopefully here I figure it out. Right, okay, I do. So then I say greater than 100. So that was just a typo, it's, it's no big deal. Okay, so now what do I do? So the, the, I go right, the other thing you can do is you can actually do nested if statements. So just like we did nested functions, you can do nested if statements. So I think here what I'm talking about is the fact that if, else, end, and function are all built in MATLAB text. Um, so MATLAB recognizes them, and that's why they changed to blue. So in a minute here, I'm going to write a nested if statement. So say I want to know, so I'm going to compute the circumference of the circle 2 times pi times r, and then I'm going to say if c is greater than 50, I think I do 50, come on, 30, 50, okay. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, so C is greater than 50 display. The circumference of the circle is greater than 50. Else display the circumference of 
the circle is less than 50. End. Okay. So now I'm going to go over here, back to command window, area C2, area circle is less than 100, right? And notice it didn't even compute the circumference, right? Because it skipped all the way to line 16 and just ran line 18. So now if it goes to area 6, now it says the area of the circle is greater than 100, but the circumference of the circle is less than 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add C to an output. I'm going to make it a, a multi-output function. Then when I type in my command window, I'm going to do A comma C. And then now it says that A is 113, so it's greater than 100, but C is 37, which is less than 50, so the circumference of the circle is less than 50, and that's what it outputs there. All right, so here I'm just explaining the two different ones. Now, if I say try a different one, Okay, so here I'm going to maximize it. That way you can here you can take a look at this, pause the YouTube video, and you can look at it and make sure that you understand how the code works. Okay, so now we're just going to run some commands. So if I do area 10, area circle is greater than 100, circumference of the circle is greater than 50. And then I'm going to go and say we have 3 and 14 and 62. Now, and now I'm going to show you something that's really, really cool. So there's something called debug mode. So you see how there's these lines next to 4, 7, and whatnot? If I click this line here at 4, a red circle pops up. And then if I go to the command window and I hit enter, notice that there's a green arrow and a K. And down at the bottom it says stopped in debugger. So there's a, what this means is I'm in debug mode. It is, the code has stopped at line four. So I'm going to maximize this. If I put my mouse over the letter R, R is 10. Why is it 10? It's 10 because I told it here in the command window here that it was 10. So now if I hit this next button or step, it's going to compute line four. And now R is 10, A is 314. So then you come down to line seven, is 314 greater than 100? It is. So then the code is going to jump to line 9, and it's going to display the area of the circle is greater than 100. Then it's going to compute C, and C is 62, and then it's going to say, is 62 greater than 50? It is, so it's going to compute line 12. And then notice what happens after this. It goes, it breaks out. The code is over. Now, if I go back to the command window, and I say, do the same thing except for 2, and hit enter, again, it stops in the debugger. It's uh, There's a green arrow at line 4. If I hit... R is 2 now, if I hit step, A is 12, is 12 greater than 100, it's not, so it jumps all the way down to line 16, then computes line 18, and then com uh, goes to the end, and the code is over. And then it throws an error because C is not computed when the area of the circle is less than 100, but that's irrelevant. So I'm going to pause this, um, hopefully this was an okay video, I'm going to watch this again on YouTube and make sure, um, but this should be good to go. Good luck.